What's up guys? I just have a few things that I have to check on today. Um, first thing I want to do is check on the girl that laid last week. I want to make sure she wasn't shed. I want to see if she shed. Why am I so red? I'm not this red, but I just want to check on that girl. She was in shed last time and uh, want to try to get her feeding. And then also I have uh, most of the other snakes to feed. The carpet pythons, the adult carpet pythons, I only feed every three weeks. This is going to be my week that I'm feeding them, so I'm going to do that as well. As well as uh, we're going to check on the eggs. So here are our eggs. Let's see. Perfect how just there's condensation on the top here but it's not dripping on the eggs. Also, everything's still looking pretty damp, but not wet. I mean, we wanna get that, that humidity up to as close to 100 as we can without obviously having the eggs in water. So uh, we're looking pretty good. It is a little bit cooler than I planned for it to be. So let's see. We're looking at about 76 on the egg. which is a little bit cooler, but I mean, it's been going everywhere from 75 to 80 degrees. Um, they look just fine. Even though 75 degrees is a little bit cool, um, I think we'll still be good, just a little bit longer incubation time. So everything's looking good on that end. And it seems like the, the Reti Chip's doing just fine. Um, I wanna see over the long haul whether it will um, dry out, but for right now, it seems like it's holding the humidity pretty well. So far, so good. Then here we have the girl that laid and um, she did shed so she didn't eat last time I offered her food she was really deep in shed right after and it was right after she laid eggs so one of my first priorities is definitely going to get a female that just laid to get her eating again in my opinion it's so good to get your female right back up to size right after she bred I mean I feel like the breeding season starts right after they lay eggs. I mean, you can never really have a downtime because you want to get that female back up to size. And then you can do some maintenance feeding and then brumation. And then when she comes out, obviously feed her more. But I think the key is to have her at a good body weight for as many months out of the year as possible to get good fertile eggs. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, I'm probably going to start her out on a meal that's a little bit smaller than what she usually eats. Kind of get that into her. And then after she's eating those pretty consistently, bump her up to normal meals, maybe every one to two weeks, depending on how she looks. So uh, maintenance is going to be usually every two to three weeks for an adult corn. Uh, since she's a female, since she laid this year, we'll stick for a week for at least a couple months until we see her getting good body size and then, you know, lay off food a little bit, but take it as it comes and uh, I'll bring you guys along. You know, I want the full spectrum of the female as far as her laying eggs, her bouncing back from laying, and then eventually maintaining body weight, and then going into brumation, and then brumating, and then taking her out of brumation, and then breeding and hatching and laying eggs again. So that's really my idea is I want to document every moment from the beginning of breeding, which I'm considering this the beginning of her next season. So after she laid eggs, you know, we're just preparing for next season already, even though the eggs are obviously still incubating, just laid on the ground. So uh, I really want to, I know I showed you guys from breeding her and then laying and now incubating the eggs, but I want to show you the whole process. Now let's get these guys some food. <laughs> feed some carpets and pretty much everything else as well as the corn snake um, what we have to do is make sure we don't feed any mice instead of rats to the jungles I have jumbo adult mice and small rats that look pretty similar so um for whatever reason and I thought this was bullshit at the beginning when my carpets were very young or the one carpet that I did this with in particular was very young I did switch on and off mice and rats and it was fine 
And then after a certain point, when I did that, she only wanted mice. So for some reason, if you give them mice, they'll all get stuck on mice. And obviously you want them to have bigger prey items because they're larger snakes. So you just gotta be careful with that. Um, I did get her back over to regular rats, but it took a long time and it was a real pain. I do have one jungle that only eats mice. So yes, that would be my one piece of advice. If you got jungles, if they get over six months, uh, don't mess around with mice. If you don't have to at all ever, I mean, that's probably the best. Try to get them feeding on rats. It's really hard sometimes to feed carpets because they're, it seems like they smell it immediately and they're all at the front of their tubs. You can see she's following us around. Let's get a rat here. So what I'm gonna do is just open it a tiny bit, slowly, so we can just enough to get this rat in there. And it's that easy. <laughs> And this is the guy that only eats mice, and there you go. He just won't even go after that rat at all. Here's a mouse. And hits it. Jungle diamond carpet. Let's see where his head's at. Looking pretty good today. Where you at? I think he'll turn around real quick for us. No. There you go. Pretty enthusiastic about that one. Here's the olive python. She is in shed. Um, she'll usually eat pretty much no matter what, so there you go. Yep, for her it doesn't matter whether she's in shed or not. And it is cleaning day tomorrow, so a lot of these guys are pretty dirty. For the corns, you're gonna get adult mice. Nice. Let me make sure I get one for the hog nose. Sometimes she'll take it. Oh. Yeah, most of the time I have to just uh, leave the mouse in there for her. So that is what I will do. So with the colubrids, you'll kind of over time after feeding, you'll know who to uh, leave it in the tub with or who to move it around. Uh, most of the colubrids, you can just throw it in there and you'll be fine. Uh, the pythons, on the other hand, they need a feeding response. They need their prey to be a little bit warm, you know, something to move and strike at and constrict. So you always have to move the rat around. You can't just leave it in there. So here's a mouse for our girl that laid. She's always been more of a shy eater. I, I want to see if I can get that on camera for you guys just to show that she ate, but yeah, she's not into that. Just as I was about to move it back. Here's the water python. She's always hungry. For some reason she's gotten much more like shiny looking over the last shed. Almost like a wet look to her. She's not even biting it with her mouth, she's just squeezing it.
surprising it's like my teeth. It makes my teeth really light. Hi. Podcast happening. Right now. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong. I need to look at the camera, not the thing up, because then it looks like I'm looking up. Yeah, but it doesn't look like you're really, like, it still yeah, look, looks it like looks you're like looking, looking in up. the thing. No, I'm not. It looks like I'm looking up. Look at the difference. Camera, up. Camera, the screen. Well, you're going <laughs> like that, okay. of course. Camera, the screen. Camera, the screen. You're making it <laughs> obvious, though. Well, that's what it looks like. But it, this is, I, I always look at myself when I'm doing it, really? so, I yeah. I feel like I look cuckoo. Well, you always do. Ooh, here's a bug. So I checked the female corn snake. It seems that she has hatched. <laughs> so I've checked the female corn snake. It seems like she has eaten, as well as that my hog nose have eaten, which is really good. And then of course the carpet pythons ate. Everyone's good to go. Uh, the only ones that didn't eat are a couple of uh, young corn snakes, but that's all right because sometimes now and then they'll miss a meal or two. Um, and that's just because I'm feeding them every, you know, four or five days. So if I spread it out to a week, they'll probably eat every time. And then you got a couple that are in shed, so I'm not really worried about it. So that'll be it. Hope you enjoyed uh, some of our feeding and some of the updates on some of the animals. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and if you made it this far, you're on the team.